Hi everybody, thank you for watching and supporting Fly vs Jerk 7. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who is following the format. And remind you guys that in the episode 6 we will have a live screening and a VIP dinner ceremony afterwards. Tick is in the upright corner. Alright, let's stop talking and start fishing. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to episode 5 of Fly vs Jerk 7. It's early morning, the last day of the competition and the teams are starting to hit the water. Last night we had a water drop. The water dropped from probably minus 50 or something to minus 60, 65. The water in front of the boat, there was no water at all. We had to go and secure the boat. Yeah, we had to pull it out. It was going to end in dry land. So uh, before the storm that's hitting us at the moment right now, we see that the water level has actually dropped a lot during the night and now it's here. Um, it's supposed to be minus 25 now and it's going to climb the whole day. And that's what's going to go, it's going to push the water into the, uh, into the coves and everything like that. So I think it's going to be really good for the fishing. Yeah. And it won't be bad at least. So it's going to be an interesting day. Yep, so it's game on. And I have a plan. <laughs> I thought about it last night. What's that? To win? Biggest fish and lots of fish. Yeah, good, great, good one. <laughs> We've never heard that plan before, have we? Very interesting about the water level. Jasper and Matthias are also at the boat launch and they are going to fish a new water today. Fan, han har ingen karma riktigt än båten alltså. Idag har han då. Ja, idag. Känner han att han han är på väg att bli utbytt. So now we're on the water again, uh, we will go out, we are fishing a smaller system today uh, and uh, still we are looking for a little bit bigger bigger fish but this lake is a little bit different character so we will um, probably, if they are cooperative, we catch some more fish today and then the last days. But um, we will so soon see. The clock is uh, nine past seven, and what do you think? Do we start start the north side or east side or west side or? Yes. 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 We start. We start. <laughs> uh, this is the first time in these mornings that we have a wind in the morning. Is. Yeah. Should we just go and start the north side? North Bay. Yeah. North Bay rocks. Maybe. Hope so. So after two days of casting like a maniac, maniac, my wrists are not really doing what they're supposed to any longer. So just need to stable them a little bit with some sports tape so we can try to do what we can to beat Truman today. It's quarter past seven, first cast. First of many. We are just uh, searching a little bit if we can find uh, even more fishes and we find some. Uh, there is bait fish here, but they are quite. Uh, yes, yeah, scattered. Scattered. Yeah, no, no big school. <laughs> you feel the pressure, Thomas? It's all over. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that the pain I can feel in every part of the yeah, boat of my body? I, I That's the say, I really, my legs are kind of like tickling just from the tension. Oh, shit. That was a nice fish. Yeah, it looked a little bit better. Yeah. I never filmed it, but I just saw a big swirl and everything oh, went yeah. slack, so I probably pushed the fly towards it. Got it? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Big one or? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Ah, that's a five kilo fish. Ah. No, no, no. It's off, it's off. Fuck. You got sharp hooks, man? Uh, yeah, I think so. Ah, shit, Thomas. I love it when you get a second chance and you get him, but then again, I really hate it when <laughs> you lose them. When you lose them after that. Can't really afford to lose as much as one single fish because of a possibly dark, <coughs> dull hook. So I'm changing the leader and actually the fly as well. We have to optimize everything. This fly, apart from being 
national Danish colors. It's done me really well, but I actually didn't expect it to work up here in this clear water. But um, it also surprised me back home in clear water. I thought it was you know, too loud for that. But it fished really well yesterday. It gave us the biggest of the day as well. So I'm going to give it another chance. This is my, my favorite fly right now. Good morning. The clock is now 7.30 on the last and third day. I'm ready for the first cast. I start with the tail, uh, the ripshed uh, curly tail. Um, 20 gram head, I will fish um, closer to the bottom, uh, casting up to 3 meters, and then down to bottom, then reel it out, steady retrieve over, over the holes. Um, hopefully they think as I, this looks so delicious, so, but we see, pretty soon. I will make the net ready also. I will use the one that I have had the most strikes this uh, hard days. Uh, I start with this one. Uh, it's a quite small bait, but this is the one we have caught the biggest one so far and also uh, had most strikes on. So let's play safe the first hours and then maybe change. Bam! First cast. Come on now, pikes! Oof. That's a nice follow again. Fish, yeah, hold on. Oh, she knows. Oh, that was a good fish. Who else? Yeah. How can I lose it? Maybe there's a better fish out there. Right? I'm fishing the, the, the national color of the Swedish fly, a green and gold. Fire tiger tail. <laughs> it looks like. Well, Brazilian to me, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have had five pretty good contacts. Well, I mean, like followers and. Oh, that was a better one. Ah, fuck! You lost it? Yeah, yeah. Look at this was there. What the fuck? They're was biting, but it's like I don't know whether they're not biting really hard or we're just screwing up. I got a good hook set on that one. Came shooting and. Hmm. Shit. Yeah, that wasn't a small fish either. Fuck, man. I can't afford that. Nope. Got him? Nah, fuck! What are they doing today? I think the primary question here might be, what are you doing today in Team Vision Sweden? Any fish can be a game changer today. Did we just use up all our luck from yesterday? Three hookups, three lost fish. I have two and two lost. Hey, how did you hook? The border has got me. No, they. Woo! The touch first. the leader, touch the leader. <laughs> yeah! <Yay. Oi. laughs> nice, Jesper. Yes. That was as big as the one I lost last morning. <laughs> I think it was maybe 457.3 grams. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the board. We are in the game. And maybe leading for the moment, you never know. <laughs> Fish? Yes. Better? No. Small. Sample. <laughs> well, kilo and a half. 1.2 tiny fish. But well, first of today. There it goes. There it goes. No. Come on now. Five fish lost in a row now for you guys. Don't make it six. Two and a half? Two and a half. Yeah, yeah, look at all the leeches. They've just been standing on the bottom. A love bite. Huh? Yeah. Is that our sixth contact? <laughs> the yeah. first one we actually get in the boat? But interesting because not many small ones about so far. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah. Two young. Yeah, I hooked one. Here. It's not a huge fish, but at least it's bigger than the first one. <laughs> It's, it's a small Lord. fish. Okay. Good, but Jesper. Two, two fishes on the boat. It's more than we had until uh, 4 o'clock last night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fish. Small. 
Soon, 8 o'clock, and it seems like that means breakfast time for the pikes. First one for me today. Okay, now it's the reporting time. Yeah, right. let's put... Day three, two fish, total is two, weight, what, two and a half? Yeah, approximately. Total someone, 2.5, was that the fish? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 2.5. At the same time yesterday we had two fish. Okay. And the second hour we had five, Thomas. So now we have to wake up. Yeah. Yes, you heard right. That was the official sound of CVC fishing team waking up. It's quarter past eight and Stefan and Pierre are on their way to the water. Last night they traveled back a few hours south from where they fished day two and they are now back at the same river system that they fished the first day and where they caught a couple of nice ones. The plan for the day is once again to go for the big fish and it will be very exciting to see if they can manage to do that today again. With two points under their belt from the first two days, it looks pretty good for Pierre and Truman. And if they can snatch one point today too, they'll probably crush the other teams. But we all know that when going for the big fish, there's always a risk of ending up with nothing. Now all teams are on the water and the game is on. Pierre, yeah. today we don't need the clicker. I don't think we need the clicker, no. <laughs> we need a bite today. Yeah, one bite. Today we go for the big ones again. If we're lucky, we, we catch around five fish, maybe? Mm, yeah, five, six maximum. Normally it's a yeah. couple of fish. So, and I check the hooks now because it's only one bite. It's good. Look here, Pierre. What? The, fi the, the fish I caught oh, yeah, two yeah. days ago took the head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's run for it. Good, good, good. Where we came in here this morning, we lost a few nice fish. We had a faller here, and this is. This is payback time, this is what? Yeah, give me a leader touch to it just so... so oh. it, oh, oh, oh. Less than a leader yeah, touch. Okay, good, thanks. Let's see if we can get it up here, it's probably... A... Wait, 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 wait. Good, thank you. Good, good. Not too bad. Nope. We backtracked it and it... It first ate the fly and I, uh, he missed it. Right and then the he, Yeah. <laughs> Decent fish for Vision Sweden. Let's find out what the weight is. Sju blankt, med hår. Seven kilos with net. Okay. Probably four and a half kilos or something like that. It's good. <laughs> we weighed the fish in the net and... Now we're weighing the net. 1.58, 1.57. 1.57. Five point something, it's 5 point... 5.43, yeah. 5.43. That's not Good. too bad. Good. Good start. That fish might go a long way today, you never know. That's, that's a good start, I mean, for size. Yesterday that would have been at the top of the list. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So, you never know. Yep. I still feel good if we can get a better one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah we but, will. Uh, now, but it seems like the big ones are out to play. Exactly. <laughs> the numbers are not no. yet. So when we're fishing a, a cove like this, it's, uh, it's pretty far out in the archipelago. And uh, it's a cove with a very small inlet. When you want to fish a cove like this, like in the autumn, like it is today, the water you want to seek is usually the deepest part of the uh, cove. Um, that's where they usually hang out this time of the year. And if you want to seek out coves to fish, you should look for a cove that has um, an inlet so the fish and the bait fish can really move back and forward. <coughs> it shouldn't be all full of weeds in the summer, it should have some open water. But mostly old coves, um, as soon as you learn how to fish them, will produce pretty good fishing. So. 
key point to, is to, to learn your places where you fish and really educate yourself. Fished in different conditions, in different weather types and try to figure out a pattern. Then you will become a very good angler instead of just going to other pe people's places and trying to fish. Learn the area where you are and, uh, and fish it hard. And if you're fishing these coves like this one or another one, they can have very different type of fish during the season. You know, a small cove like this can be full of perch in the summer uh, and it will be full of pike in the spring for spawning. And it will have probably very few pike during the summertime. But as soon as we come into late fall, they start to come into this cove again to feed for bream and also if there's some perch hanging around still. But if you talk all the time, you don't catch anything. No. So start fishing. <laughs> I'm gonna go for 10.6 now. Good. On this one. Then all is forgiven. We're fishing in a place where you have some current, getting together. Um, really not much places for the, the little bit bigger ones to stand. So probably we have, they have seen our lures some times now, but so far no big one. But we keep on fighting. We we'll probably soon will change place. Where is your mama? Small ones. <laughs> and that was quick released. I just want to just come here, this jävla. Oh, oh, yeah. Oj, det är flash, jag hörde det. Vad är det igång? Ja. Good. Oh, that's a better fish. Oh. I don't, I don't, I don't no, think it'll be No, that's bigger than mine. That's bigger than mine. Do you think so? Yep. Oh. Oh. Nope. I was going for the leader first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Really nice markings on these. Sometimes in these tournaments you're so excited you, you forget to look at the fish. Well, yeah. you don't have time to look at them. But you know. what a nice fish! What a nice fight! Yeah, it's just an awesome. And, and on the fly, important, roll, on most the importantly, what a nice click! Yeah. <laughs> fly versus Jay. Here's five percent about having a good time with friends and being out in the open, and about ninety-five percent click. Nice. We don't even weigh it because we are quite sure that we will catch bigger ones. Good, Matthias. Nice. Yeah. We, we need to do this because that was our first double of this tournament. <laughs> yeah. I'm dragging a stock on the bottom. It's fucking heavy. That's a lure savior. Let's go for it. 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 Let's Nice. Ah. Touch the leader. Leader touch. Second fish in four casts, I think. We keep on hammering these lures and pretty soon we will have the fish we're looking for. The top fish for the day so far is 5.43 kilo pike for Vision Sweden. Not a really big fish. But with yesterday's result in mind, it might go a long way. But now it seems like CVC has at least found a better fish. Ah, fuck. I was fucking, it was really big one. Really heavy fish. Oh. Ah, mad. Sharp, everything is, look. Yeah. Everything's perfect. Look here. Yeah. Oh, fuck. no was heavy one. Yeah, I saw the yeah. rod. Oh, it was, I, oh. I, I can move the fish like... Tuk, tuk. Oh, Jesus, this fish here. It's okay, it's okay. I just cast on the drop, drop the bait and retrieve quite slow and bam! Strike, really, really heavy fish. And phew, five seconds and they went off. Jesus, I can't believe that. He's unreal. Oh, that was a nice take. Yeah, boom! I saw and the rock! I, I struck like very hard, like. Yeah. <sighs> that could be the winner fish. Stop. Don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> I, I know I know it was way over six, seven kilo, no problem. You know when, when you have that kind of take, they grab the whole lure, the whole bait, 
and you just hook it and you don't set the hook. It could happen because they are so strong in the jaws. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Right now we're leaving the cove. And uh, what do you say, we're gonna fish a bit outside on the way back? Yeah, I think so. The wind is pounding really hard out there. So, yeah. so I think we're going to do that. We'll probably spend an hour out here if the fishing is good. Yeah. 10 minutes if they're not biting. And then and we'll go on. If Team CVC is fishing numbers, obviously we'll have to try to beat them, which is gonna be hard because it's not, it's not that good fishing right now. But uh, if they have gone back to big fish, we just need a decent amount of numbers. None of the other teams so far have been into numbers. So then that could do it. But really I think today, we don't have to think too much about what to do. We'll just hang in there, fish as hard as we can because we don't know what anybody is doing. We don't know what, where anything is happening. As many and as big as possible. Yep. But it would be very nice to have a fish that's bigger than that eight kilo fish that they had. So if we have a draw today, they will go for the, they will win because of the big fish and we don't want that, so. I'd be glad, you know, if we could just do 20 or 25 to be safe if nobody else is running numbers, but then have one really decent really big fish one. on top, yeah. you know, bigger than their biggest. Fish, fish, just had a good, good, strong, heavy fish on. Nice, solid take. I gave it a good, good strike, but it just came off. In the calm side. Yeah. So we have tried the front of this in the windy side and now we try the calm side and when we came the calm side Thomas has it a bent, really good bent my take. fly all the way you know almost broke it he feel the hook definitely yes it was hooked for a couple of two three seconds or more than that yeah yeah it's 10 o'clock in the morning it's the first spot and, and we have carefully fished the edges here. It's deep water outside with lots of bait fish and, and uh, oh, Pierre had a really nice fish on, just on the edge. So uh, it's looking good, but we need that fish. We need it so badly. We don't gonna have so many strikes today, but hopefully we're gonna have a couple of more strikes and a big fish. We keep on fighting. Okay, just one big fish. We keep on fighting. One single bite. That's the, the things we have to do today. We had actually quite good action uh, before the sun come off. Uh, we had, uh, now it's uh, cloud again and uh, we feel some humid humidity in, in the air. And after that, the fish uh, was uh, slower again. I had a bite just a couple, 10 minutes ago, but uh, really slow. But we have a spot out here we will try. When you're fishing, uh, fishing in River Dalelven, the, the old fishermen, they normally say that if the, the wind going against the current, like today, it's uh, the best is to be at home and uh, treat your wife right. With some tea and chocolate and Massage. 10 o'clock, four new fish, total of nine. I'm getting a little bit restless, you know, we need to find some hot spots. I'm not saying we're struggling, but we're not really, we're not really there yet. There yet. So we have like a half an hour to drive. We'll go all the way back in and then. Yeah, yeah we need to find more and actually a little bit bigger fish. No, I'm good. Fish in Sweden are changing area, trying to find some bigger fish. But suddenly... Oh shit, my head! Oh no! It's bound to happen sooner or later. Can we do it in 20 knots? We can do it in 20. <laughs> I always do that, you know, if I get too warm. Yeah. <laughs> it really cools you off. <laughs> Fuck, that's cold. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's hardcore. <laughs> Cooled off and ready to take on the next cove. Stefan and Pierre are also thinking about changing place. See, uh, <clears throat> we have fished the edge here. Maybe we, we shall try this spot here. You see, you have shallow water here and you have some bump here. Yeah, we have to try. We have to yeah. try both. You know, they can be outside or yeah. we have to cover 
It's yeah. 14 meters yeah. around here. Yeah. So uh, we, we, we cross the deep hole and see if it's lots of bait fish and then we track, track this spot. Okay, let's do that. Okay, yeah. okay now we, we're moving the boat. So we have good opportunity to see the spot now. Uh, the bait fish, how exactly the, the, the drop are, all the spots. So it's it's good time to to check out. Look at the bait fish now. Look, it's a lot of bait fish. So that's very interesting. That's exactly where I missed the fish. Yeah, I missed the fish on this drop. So it was close to the close to the fish, I think, close to the bait fish. Yeah. So that's that's very interesting. And now we're going to cross this deep hole and to fish the next drop off. Yeah. So we are. Oh. Oh, men den största idag. Two, en halv. Jag har två point eight, vi säger. Two point eight. Good, good. Shake and bake. Bake, bake, bake. Better. Oh, it, it is better. No, it's not. No. No. Ah. Well, again, two and a half kilos. Yeah. Click. Really, really not wanting to stick their head out today. Now we just arrive on the edge now. So Stefan positioned the boat just on the on the limit. Going to, to use the spot lock just to fix the boat just on the edge. So we can do exactly the same thing we do other side. Cover the drop, couple of casts maybe for 15 minutes, half an hour, and after we can move to another spot. Hopefully we have the bite, one bite now. Okay, Pierre. Yeah. Be ready. Oh, I'm ready. Jeez, I'm ready. I know. I heard you're born ready. You can see this auto shot is very powerful. Now we, we, we never fished here before and now we can see most, mostly everything uh, on the area. All the, the depth and stuff. So that's that's really, really, really good tool to, to fish a spot like that. Really, really good. Uh, we are now discussing uh, next stop. And Matthias uh, has a couple of uh, deeper holes. Yeah, deeper holes. Uh, we have not, some... not so far away from where we started this morning. So we will uh, do our last hours up there in the deeper sections. Yes, cost to hope we will have a uh, bigger fish. Matthias has friends out in, in lakes and rivers close by here and they have zero pikes. There is, it's, it's something. It's shit. In the it's something atmosphere. In the yeah. But we will never give up. Oh, you had one. Yep. Ah, the hen had a piss fish came in. Oh, the horn, Thomas. That's the good cook. It was chewing on your fly. You're fucking with me, brain. The fishing might be slow with wishing Sweden standards, but they actually got 19 fish, which is more than the other teams together. And they also got the biggest fish. 5.43 is no monster though, and any team might catch a bigger one in any cast. Oh, you can see. Oh, yeah. I'm bred, I'm too, I'm too. Okay. I was crossing a little bit to a deeper area. And, and on the drop. I, I think it's not big because it comes so. so friendly here, but you never know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a big fish. At least it's our biggest for the day, yeah? Yeah, near my head with a jävla ass. Ah, it's not that big, but... Yes, a little bit better. Not huge, but... Five? Yeah, five, five and a half, maybe. Ah, five, something like that. I'll take it easy. I, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, uh, let me know if you need some help. No. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Ah. Uh. You help? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know, but it's. No. Oh. No. Five, oh. five maximum. It's not that fat. 440. No, it's not fat. He has, he has the length for a big fish, but not fat enough. Decent fish to Matthias at 4.4 kilos, but unfortunately it's not big enough to give them the point of the biggest fish today. 
It seemed like you thought the fish was bigger than it really was, Matthias. Is that true? It's crazy what this competition do to your mind. We have had so so many strikes on this collar today, so so I want to use the same. Okay, Thomas, let's go out the calm side because we have pretty good takes on the calm side now, and the uh, wind side hasn't got a couple bites, but not not good bites. Sounds so good. We try the calm side. Oh, that was also. Eleven thirty, and we just moved out from the co. Just started fishing. This is probably the third or fourth cast, and. This is not the monster fish we need, but it's a decent one. So, get it in the net there. I would say four kilo fish. Yeah, it's probably four kilo. Mm -hmm. And now it's going to do its favorite head dive. Three, two, one. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> that was Nine points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Do you remember that one fish which had the had the one gill broken. Yeah. yeah. This was the same one. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, it was, it was caught fish, it was a little touch fish. It was three kilos. Three kilos. Oh. And we caught that fish earlier on. It was easy to recognize because one of the gills, uh, I mean, well, yeah. Was broken. Yeah. And we caught that fish in like 100 meters over there, over there, different place. It's a click. Clicked. But here's the bream again, at least. Oh. I changed fly totally to a, actually a really big gold fly. I don't even know if the hook is, is stuck. It's just, it's tangled in here. No, it wasn't hooked. <laughs> it was just tangled in the mouth. <laughs> Mr. Two Kilo. Come on, Niklaus. One more fish before 12. Ah, oh, it was coming. <laughs> They're so funny, these small guys. Should be a meter, <laughs> one more meter water in here, then we would have yeah. had some little bit bigger fish. Whoa! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Good. Yay. Ah, got my finger too. Mikey. Okay, Thomas, let's be honest. We cannot win anymore, but let's do some screwing about other guys and get some big fishes and put the Truman on. Last place. Like last year, just one fish changed the whole whole competition upside down. We'll see. It's 12 o'clock and it's time to finish off episode 5. But first, let's have a look at the scores so far. The number point is held by Vision Sweden with their 25 pike. And it looks like the other teams will have a really hard time beating that. What's probably easier for the teams to beat is the biggest fish at 5.43 kilos, also caught by Vision Sweden. So far, the two points for the day is held by Vision Sweden, which results in a total of four points to them. Zero points to Storm Chimano, zero points to Vision Finland and two points to CVC Fishing Team. There are many hours of fishing left, the conditions looks okay and we're talking about 8 pretty good anglers so some team should be able to catch a bigger fish. Ladies and gentlemen, don't miss the final episode of Fly vs Jerk 7 in one week. We will air a VIP screening at the Sport Fishing Fair in Älvsjö. Be there live and watch the contestants find out the results together with you guys on a big stage. All pike for one night with a big after party and huge celebration of the Fly vs Jerk winners. See you there. Oh look, I have one fish. Yeah. <laughs> it's full of fish like that I imagine. Four fish. D'accord. C'est cool, sympa. Ok. <laughs>
Oh la flemme. Ouais. Et toi, ça fait combien de temps que tu euh, Oui, mais moi, euh, moi je suis née en France. D'accord. Mais euh, on a déménagé quand j'avais 10 ans. D'accord. En Allemagne. Ok. Voilà. Et je suis venue ici il y a 4 ans. D'accord. Voilà. Finally, someone can talk to oui. Pierre. Yeah. That's, this is perfect. C'est chez les maisons pas chères et tout ça. The bartender knows French. D'accord. It's a good. C'est la jolie femme. Yeah, it's good. C'est la